How far has New Jersey come when it comes to LGBT issues? Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Next, we're going to talk to a man who would know. Christian Fuscarino is executive director of Garden State Equality. Explain what Garden State Equality is because it has a pretty impressive track record. Yeah, we're New Jersey's largest LGBT organization. We lift up the voices of our community and make them a priority for elected officials. We've passed hundreds of laws that make New Jersey a safer place for LGBT citizens. And we have been doing anti-bullying work in schools to make sure that schools are safe places for young LGBT people to grow up in. Now you recently got the job as executive director, but you're from New Jersey originally. I am from New Jersey. I was born in Belmar and uh, I'm three weeks into the job, so. What's amazing to me is you're three weeks into the job and they put out a list of the most influential LGBT lobbyists in New Jersey and you were second on the list. After three weeks, that's impressive. Well, I've been doing work in the state for about a decade, uh, but still to be number two on a list like that among so many talented individuals that have dedicated their lives to working for the LGBT community, it's really quite an honor. How is New Jersey doing when it comes to LGBT issues as in this comparison to the rest of the country? Well, it's, it's not North Carolina. Um, we're a lot better in that regard. We don't have uh, anti-LGBT legislation coming up to a vote. Um, but right now we do have a handful of elected officials that have openly said they don't support LGBT rights. Uh, we have a congressman currently that voted against the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He voted against marriage equality. He voted against the expansion of hate crime uh, protections. This? Uh, this is Congressman Scott Garrett. And how is the, how is the governor? Well, I mean, the governor has not signed uh, any of our recent bills that have gone to his desk, uh, specifically the um, name change bill for birth certificates for transgender individuals, uh, and that's creating a lot of unnecessary stress for our community. How much of the governor's actions are his beliefs and how much are political because he ran for president and still is involved in the campaign? You know, I couldn't tell you that because you, I have not been... Belief? I haven't been able to meet with him and had a conversation like I would with someone else that I disagree with. What is, what is your focus now in, in New Jersey? You've just come in the New Jersey, you're three weeks on the job. I'm sure you have a couple of issues that are front and center. Yeah, we have a few legislative items that we want to pass over the next year. Right now there's something called the gay panic defense. And that is if a straight person feels uncomfortable in a situation with a gay person and they attack them uh, and, and in some cases murder them, in court they can say they panicked because th this person was gay. And uh, there's been cases where uh, that's been a good enough excuse and we have to change that. Is that a, uh, I've never heard this before. This yeah. is the first time I, I, I've heard this. That is a legal defense? In some situations, uh, it has affected the cases. Some of the other... Well, that, wait, wait a second, let's back up, because is that in legislation or is that just the jury's findings? Is it, is it the way the jury sees the case or, or is there some legal precedent for this? We are working to make sure that no one can ever use the gay panic defense. How many, how big of it, how, how often has that been used? I'm sorry that I'm staying on this, but it's fascinating to me. Yeah, no, I was shocked. I actually had never heard of this and I've been in the LG, uh, LGBT community in New Jersey for quite some time. Um, again, you know, three weeks into the position and I learned about it and obviously that's something that strikes really close home to me and I want to address it. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Christian Fuscarino, Executive Director of Garden State Equality. When we come back, we're going to stay with LGBT issues and talk specifically about equality when it comes to restrooms, especially in public schools, when Jersey Matters continues.